Hey guys, so today I'm have a super exciting video. I have another ColourPop haul for you. So this is products I picked up over the last few months. Um, a lot of their new releases. So if you'd like to see what I have purchased and some quick thoughts on each of the products, please keep watching. So I have a box sitting down here full of like lip products and things like that. And then I have a big stack of palettes because you know how much I love the ColourPop Press Powder Shadows. Um, I was going to divide this up into like the collections sort of, but I really can't be bothered with that. So I'm just going to grab at whatever and share that with you. And I will start with shadows. As I mentioned, I love their shadows, so I have a ton of them. So this is one of my earlier purchases of this haul, and that was the fall shadows. So that is the top two rows here and some of the third row. They came out with three little sets of six for this. As you know, I adore Colourpop's powder shadows. These are all so beautiful. Um, there was one that doubled up with the three little sets. So um, I did take that one out. But I'll quickly run through the shades I have. So I have Now and Zen, which is like a frosty shade with a golden flip. We have Koi is like a matte orangey, orangey mustard shade. So Jaded is like a shimmery muted pink. Crown Jewel is this vibrant purple shimmer. Lucky You is a matte baby pink shade. Imperial is this rich red matte shade. It's kind of like a rust shade. I love that. So we have Two Birds is this metallic gold yellow shade. One of my favourites of this collection is Tea Garden. It's like this like jester green and it's got a bit of a brown undertone to it. It's gorgeous. Snake Eyes is this metallic purpley pink shimmer. Like It's almost got like a silver undertone to it. We have Glass Bull is like a blue brown pigment kind of shade. We have this bronze metallic shade called pa Paper Crane. Dragonfly is like a satin purple muted shade. We have Roundhouse, which is a deep purpley matte shadow. This is the one that doubled up in the collection. Fortune Cookie is this matte, like hot pink red shade. Facet is just like a matte burgundy colour. Hung Up is a, another satin purple shade, similar to the previous one, but a bit more bright. We have Let's Do This, which is a matte black. Um, but yeah, these are all so beautiful, and I definitely recommend them. My next large item is the Dust Till Dawn Super Shadow Set. Super Shock Shadow Set. First of all, this packaging is absolutely stunning. So it comes with a sleeve, and then even more beautiful is the actual book it comes in. This I am obsessed with. Like I'm going to keep this as like a coffee table book like a little storage book. Um, so you open it up and it has these six super sock shadows. So what I'm going to do is just pull this foam lining out and just have it as like a storage case. We're going through the shades we have New Magic. This is a like blue dual chrome white shade. Like this is gorgeous. All these shades are really pretty and unique. We have Goodish which is this pink shade full of gold and blue glitters. It's like a pinky purple base. Stargirl is like a bronzy rose gold packed full of silver shimmers. This one is beautiful. Half Light is a brown, like a blue brown base with a green flip. This one's really unique. It's also got little gold shimmers through it, very subtle. Babykins is this true purple metallic shade with gold shimmers. Sleigh Bells is this like warm ready purple brown shade and this is packed full of gold shimmers. I also love the like mint aqua packaging. I think it's so cute. Working my way down the palettes, next we have the All I See Is Magic palette which again is in the same like sky packaging. This one has like a mint green to purple fade and the little gold like fireworks. So this palette is beautiful. It has a mix of mattes and shimmers. These are all beautiful. I love these so much. All these palettes will be featured in tutorials to come. Next we have the Golden State of Mind. Again, this packaging just... I'm obsessed with it. 
This one is a pink to yellow fade and it has this beautiful rose gold detailing. And I'm not sure if it's meant to be um, like flower petals or butterfly wings. It kind of reminds me of a bit of both. But this is a complete shimmer palette. Um, so all of these shades are like shimmer metallic gorgeousness. And there's just a beautiful range of colours. So that one is from the Sephora collection, like holiday collection, as well as the Semi Precious palette. This packaging again kills me. I love the blue with like this geometric and the like rose gold writing. And this is just these like gem tone shade, gemstone tone shades. Again, this is all metallics and these apply beautifully with a damp brush. We then have all of their 12 colour palettes. These I love. Um, I'm just going to go down through the releases. So my all time favourite from these so far is the I Think I Love You. The packaging is really pretty. And then this is just like a, the perfect neutral shade. This has that Let's Do It Matte Black which is incredible. Um, this metallic shade in it is to die for. It also has Bel Air, which is my favourite matte transition shade. And then just a bunch of other really beautiful shades in this palette. We then have the My Little Pony palette. Super cute. I don't use this one much because it's just so colourful. But this is gorgeous. Of all my collection, these are like the one thing I really collect. Like the Colourpop shadows because I just adore them. And yeah, I think this is really fun. Gorgeous little pops of colour. They then released two more, which was the Element of Surprise. This one's like all purpley mauve tones. This packaging's stunning too. Um, this is what this one looks like. Again, I really love all these colours. They're so pigmented. Um, the two like deep purple shade matte shades in this do pull very bright once applied. And then a game changer is the You Had Me At Hello. Once again, packaging obsessed. It's got like that cloud look and then like the fairy lights hanging down obsessed. This is the first one they released for the mirror. So far it's the only one with the mirror I believe. This is kind of like between a mauves and a neutrals palette. I really love all these colours. It's also a really good quality mirror. Like it's super clear and crisp. I'm kind of annoyed it's in the same packaging as the I Think I Love You. I think they could have switched that up a little bit because having them both sitting together it's a little confusing. But yes this is the double entendre which is just like their staple neutral shades. Um, so this is all matte except for three and one is a matte with glitter. But yeah, this is just like the perfect neutrals. You have all your transition shades, you have this deeper shade to darken, some light shades to highlight the brow bone and things like that. And then yeah, we have like a soft gold, a deeper gold and like a copper shade just for the lid. Perfect everyday palette and also as I mentioned, great to switch up and mix with some other metallic shades you own. And then the last 12 colour palette I have is the Dream Street palette. This is in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. Absolutely obsessed with this packaging. This like rose gold cream marble is beautiful. It's what made me buy the palette. Other than my um, collecting obsession. And then this is the shades of this palette. And this is just really fun and different. Um, I love how she's got like the pops of like the blue tones in it. I think it's really different and pretty. These blues kind of remind me of the ones in the All I See Is Magic palette. Like they're very similar. I'll have to swatch them to compare. So we have the My Little Pony Princess Sparkle, which is clearly a little more blue. And we have All I See Is Magic Wishful Thinking, which is very clearly have that more blue brown pigment look to it. And then it is the Dream Street Mermaid Boy, which is more of like a teal peacock shade. Moving on to the lighter shades, we have Firefly and Snuzzle from the My Little Pony collection, which is these two. This one's more silvery blue, this one's more of a frosty colour with the blue flip, compared to Kaleidoscope from Dream Street, which has very clearly got more of a beigey taupe undertone with a bit of a blue flip to it. Again, all very different, even though they look similar in the pans. So yeah, definitely no double up of colours in there. Um, but yeah, again, it's got like all the transition shades you need. It's got neutral lid shades. We have these pops of blue, this gorgeous like red shade. 
And then the final one I have is a six color palette they released. This is the Take Me Home eyeshadows. Oh, this one also has a mirror. I forgot that. So this is their second one of the mirror. And this is just six neutral eyeshadows. Perfect on the go everyday palette. Um, so three are matte. One's a matte with glitter. And then we have two metallics. So this is perfect. You can create a light neutral look. You could do smoke it out with this darker shade. If you would like to see swatches of any of these palettes, head to my Instagram. I'll have them up. I have some up already. I'll have some up in the following weeks. And also, if you would like to see a dedicated video doing one or multiple looks with these palettes, comment below. I'm going to get around to doing them all eventually, but let me know which ones you'd like to see first, if there's anything in particular. And yeah, I want to do like individual swatch review videos for all of these. Now that we have the eyeshadows out of the way, we can get onto this box of goodies from the My Little Pony collection. I'm obsessed with this like baby purple little pot packaging. So this is the shade Posy, and this is like a champagne shimmer. It's got pink and silver like glitters through it. This is more of a topper shade than an actual eyeshadow, and it's absolutely stunning. I love this. It's so pretty and unique. I have here is the bronzer. So this is a nice deep dark bronzer. I already have two in my collection and I wanted to pick up something a little darker. And this is the shade In It To Win It. So it's a nice deep, a bit more like a medium satin bronzer. Perfect for fair to medium skin tone. I have the My Little Pony highlight in the shade Trickles. Again, love the lavender packaging. This is like a pink with a blue dual chrome to it. But this is gorgeous. I love the little star imprint on it too. And then from the holiday collection, I have a highlight powder. This is in the shade Touche. This looks like a yellow kind of golden shade, but it actually has like a pinky peach undertone. My last three compacts are some of their pressed powder blushes. These are all so gorgeous. So these are all matte shades, I believe. The first one we have is White Hello, which is just like the perfect everyday soft, like muted peachy pink. We then have To The Ten, which is a bit more of like a dusty pink shade. A little more cool tone than the previous one. And then we have Weirdo, which is more of like a deeper brownie pink shade. I love this a lot when I'm fake tanned. And these compacts are just adorable and really good quality. They're sturdy and I love the mirror in it. Again, it's just really clear and crisp and high quality. Next, I have a Super Shock highlight. This is in the shade Glazed. This is more of a yellow tone one. I also have Flexitarian, which is very, like, frosty white. This has more of, like, a yellowy golden tone to it, which I adore. It looks a lot more natural. Another highlight, I picked up one of the Luster Dusts. So this is like a loose shimmer highlight. Um, they released three shades of this as part of the holiday collection. And I picked up the shade Nomi, which was their lightest shade. Again, the mint just kills me. It's like a champagne... I don't know how to explain the shade, but I, it's gorgeous. These are a little more glittery than shimmer. Um, so it comes with like a little sieve in it and the powder just like slowly comes up through it. It's got a silver pearl. Oh crap, I better not blow it everywhere. It's got like a silver pearl to it and that, that, that nudie champagne base. Next I picked up some more shades of the No Filter Concealer. So I have all four of the lightest shades now. My most recent ones are the shade 10 Fair Neutral. And then... Um, 15 light neutral. So I already had 5 fair and 20 light. Yeah, this formula is incredible. It's amazing coverage. Blends out like a dream. It's so smooth and just looks amazing. I love this concealer a lot and I hope they come out with the foundation. Next I have the Amber Crystal Collection. So as you would probably know, they released a crystal collection a few months back and then for the holidays they come out with the Amber Crystal Collection. I'm obsessed with this. Um, so the first one I haven't used a lot, and this is their Amber Crystal Liquid Highlight. But this is a beautiful, like, peachy golden shade. This works better with a more tan skin tone. Like, me and my fair skin, I wouldn't use this one. Um, but yeah, this is stunning. I really love that. One I clearly love because it's, like, a quarter empty. This is the Amber Crystal Setting Spray. This smells like mango, and I am obsessed with that. 
and it sets your makeup perfectly to like a natural finish. It's not dewy, which I love. Um, because I don't particularly like their dewy setting spray. It's a little sticky, which I'm not a fan of. But this one's beautiful and it smells so delicious. It's also a great mixing medium to dampen your brush for shadows. And then the last crystal product is their crystal lip balm. Um, my favourite part about this is that it's tinted. It's like, it's like a ready brown peachy kind of shade. It smells like mango again and it's just delicious. As you can see I've used like quite a bit of this one. I love the formula of these. They're super moisturising and creamy and just feel really good. I have six new lippy sticks here. So first I have Daydream. This is a matte X formula. And this is like a pinky nude shade. I picked up Pillow Talk which is like one of the staple matte X formula. It's a brown cool tone shade. Everybody was raving about that when it released. I picked up Cheers which is just a matte, regular matte formula. This is like a berry shade and I really love that one. And then three of their new matte X formula lippies are released over the holiday season. We have Can't Wait which is like a brown shade. It's a little more warm toned than Taurus which I have so it's a little more wearable. I have With The Band which is like a pink muted pink shade and then my favourite is candy paint which is just like a pinky brown nude perfect shade I love that one my next product I have are the supernova shadows so I have the five they first released and then they are three new year's releases so these shadows are unreal so these are a similar product to the Stila Glittering Glow eyeshadows. So they're like a liquid eyeshadow and they're just full of pigment and shimmer and just absolutely stunning. They come on a doe foot applicator that's actually like the same packaging as the concealers, just with a silver lid. And these are gorgeous. So this is the first five they released. We have Walk of Fame is like a champagne gold. Dragon is like more of an orangey gold shade. We have Hard to Empress is a red metallic shade. Firecracker is more of like a purpley red shade. And then Moonlit is this purple shade. I have swatches of these up on my Instagram, these five original shades. We have the shade Running in Orbit is like a, it's kind of like a muted gold. It's very similar to Walk of Fame but like yes less yellow we then have ufo it's like a red orange and then we have mothership which is like a blue green almost like a peacock kind of shade so i have like a bunch of like these pinky nude shades i have the ultra metallic in queen which is like a pinky red with gold shimmers this is my first ultra metallic lip to try I picked up two of the ultra blotted lips, so I have the shade Doozy which is more brighter pink and then Zuma is more of a nude pink shade. I picked up the ultra satin lip in Echo Park, this is like the perfect nude shade, I actually wore this for my formal late last year and I love this colour. I have the ultra glossy lip in the shade Bestie, this is actually a little pale for what I like, um, but it's still really pretty. I also picked up the Kathleen Lights. Colourpop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Moonchild. Again, it's like a nude colour. This one's a little more muted and more taupey beige toned. And it's also got little gold shimmers in it, which is really pretty. And it's also got limited edition packaging with the little stars around the barrel. Um, collaboration with I Love Sarahi Ultra Satin Lip in 951, which is, again, just a really pretty beigey nude pink shade. And then I have four of the Holiday ultra matte lips um i believe this is one of the holiday ones but it's not in the holiday packaging this is the shade lightweight i then have flurries which is like a pinky shade i have the shade take a pixie which is like a perfect like nude brown shade similar to velvet teddy i really love that color and then this one's super cool and unique this is one of the ultra glossy lips from the holiday collection which has more of like a rose gold packaging and this is the shade fingers crossed 
which is like that typical blue brown pigment look and I just thought this was really unique I had to pick it up it's actually a little more wearable than I thought it would be so it's got like that nude brown undertone so that is all for today's haul um so many new exciting products as I mentioned let me know which of these products you would like to see featured in coming videos if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and comment below your favorite color product or their, your favorite of their newest releases Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I upload twice a week. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day and I'll see you in my next video.